Hi guys and welcome back to our channel, where we recap your favorite games for you. Today we are going to recap Gotham Knights, the newest video game installments in the Batman series. So without further ado, let's begin. As the story beings, Batman appears in front of the camera. According to him if someone is watching this video it means he is dead by now. It happened because of a fight between Batman and one of his worst enemies named Gull. While being injured, Batman is lying in his car. He is trying to gather the strength to fight. According to Ghoul, although Batman spent years trying to fight the war against corruption, it still flourishes in Gotham, but Batman strikes him hard so that he can save himself and can protect his beloved city. However, Ghoul finally succeeded in destroying Batman's whole city monitoring system and as a result of a deadly fight between the two, Batman is severely injured. He somehow managed to the reached upper part of Cave where he has his new models ready. Ghoul came there and tells him that he will kill him and his family and then he will burn the whole city piece by piece. Finally, Batman destroys his place so that he can save the city from the wrath of Ghoul. This causes the whole place to be destroyed along with his creator. After Batman's death and destruction of his cave, Code Black is the message which is automatically triggered and Knight of Gotham reaches at the spot. They are shocked by this massive destruction and Batman's death. They finally find his body. He was a great hero who sacrifices his life for the sake of Gotham. But in his last message, he alerts his heroes that it will not take long before Gotham's criminals realize that Batman is gone and they cannot rely on the local authorities' GCPD to defend the city. He also left an operating place for them called Belfry Space of Operations. This place is equipped with technology although some of them are outdated but mostly can help them in monitoring the city. On the other hand, after this happening the whole city went into chaos as criminals are attacking the city again and again. The whole city is remembering him at his funeral. As Bruce is not only a charming celebrity billionaire but he was more than that for not only his loved ones but for the whole city. Bruce was Gotham in himself as he loved this city more than he loved anything in his whole life. He always worked so hard to bring justice and equality to the city. Gotham will never forget Bruce and his contributions to this city. Finally, the Code Black message is over now and new chapter of Gotham Beings. At night Nightwing, Red Hood, Batgirl, and Robin appear on Batman's grave. They all are concerned for Alfred as he took leave after three years and it turned up into Bruce's death. As they all are talking and discussing the scenario Batgirl asked about the eulogy which is given to Jacob by one of them. They said they have given him the right because he is Bruce's uncle as they all are the protectors who work only behind the scene. Batgirl also tells about Catherine who would not be there as they cannot see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. Meanwhile, Nightwing tells them that there is something else she doesn't know as she has the body of Batman's killer at a morgue. Ghoul who was the killer was named John Doe. His body is there for cremation. After all this discussion they also showed their concern about the League of Shadows. But they finally decide that they will focus on Batman's mission so that they can protect the city from coming dangers that can shake the core of this city. Batman mentions the name of DR. Langstrom but they don't know who he is and where they can find him. However, Robin comes up with the idea that he might be a zoologist at Gotham University but he does not know where he is. They all divide the work so that they will be able to complete it on time. Red Hood goes to find the guy named Langstrom as this was the last case of Batman and his file is attached to Code Black so something is there which is hidden from their eyes. But as he reaches his place he finds out that Langstrom is also dead by now. After seeing this Red Hood was left with no choice but to break into his office as he might have some clue there. As he reaches his office he finds some strange marks there. As he follows them he finds the murder spot where Langstrom struggled for his life. And also a hidden door is present there. Red Hood enters the hidden place and finds different experimental animals which do not seem to be in a normal university lab. As he approaches his desk he finds out the hard drive which he takes to his friends to see what's inside it. But on his way some robbers trying to destroy the place of the fire. Red Hood quickly jumps into the fight so that he can clear the area and rescue the hostages. As he finishes his work there, he quickly reaches back to his friends. They all try to approach the data but it seems that the lab's computers are outdated and they need some secondary backup. Meanwhile Red Hood is impatient to solve this case as soon as possible but Nightwing holds him back as according to him there is something big ongoing so they need to stick together and Batman also wants this. But at this point, Something good happened as Alfred is back and as he says, he is always there for them whenever they need him. So they all started to fix this place for their work. Soon Alfred finds out that the hard drive will need a bio decryption key, which means for this Red Hood needed to go to the GCPD morgue. As he reaches there he first encounters the Ghoul's girl who is there for his father's cremation. 
He tries his best that Wygola attack Batman, but she left without telling him anything. Now Red Hood approaches Langstrom, and his body is lying on the table along with his belongings. Here he finds a clue that Langstrom might have seafood allergies and a heart condition, but he is astonished to see the diabetes checker machine as Langstrom did not have any diabetes issue. After thinking for a while, he concluded that he uses his blood to record the data. Red Hood collects everything he got and reaches back to his friends after escaping from the police. As they go through the data, they find out one thing, which is there is some kind of human criminal research going on, but they don't understand it fully and what was its purpose and how it is connected to Bruce. Meanwhile, searching for other clues, Red Hood meets with Talia Gold, who is also behind something, but both did not share their aims. While back in the lab, they find out a video of Harley Quinn who is asking Batman to meet him at a black gate, but this is shocking for them as she leaves Gotham a while ago. Nightwing went to criminal jail to meet her so that he might find some clues. She said that she is dealing with some criminal DNA, but for further information, he has to do her work, which Nightwing did. After finishing the assigned task, she handed him a book in a dramatic way. Nightwing, however, gets this book and reaches back to their working place. Here he listens about Oswald Cobblepot who is renowned but also a controversial figure of Gotham. It seems that nowadays he is parting at his entrainment palace the Iceberg Lounge but only a few years back he is known as a blue penguin and worked as a gangster but now he said he leaves all this criminal work so that he can start a new life. While watching this they got a lead about the criminal record of the penguin. He also hired regulators for his work but Batgirl cannot understand what they are after. However, as she reaches the lab where scientists are imprisoned, she got out to know that Freeze took all the cryo gel which is enough to freeze the whole of Gotham City. Now, this is a point of concern as they have to save the city. Batgirl reaches back to their working station, where Alfred told her that Dr. Q's information vanishes from the website. At the same time, they got a message from Luscious Fox who want to meet them in person so Red Hood went to meet him at his building. He gives him an advanced machine which is Luke's design and it will help him get around a little quicker. On the other side, Robin also went to meet Oswald, who tells him that some people are keeping an eye on him, but he gives Robin some hints about the Court of Owls and Robin convinces his friends that if he believes it is not a myth then they have to investigate it. As they move further they find out the Court of the Owl is real and they kept an eye on every person there surprisingly Talia is also related to them. According to her, they are coming to take over the city and the League cannot stop them. However, Batman's team does not stop working. They get to know that Dionysium is a substance that brought Talons back to life. They also try to recognize some mystery voices so that they get to know who is behind all this. While all this is going suddenly the temperature drops to 60 degrees in just a few minutes. This is astonishing as weather patterns do not behave like this. It's freeze. Who can make the weather now? So they reach the center of the storm to stop freezing. Upon reaching there a fight starts between Nightwing and Freeze, in which Freeze loses. After all this, they still have no idea what is going on. Why Gull attacked Bruce and killed him? So they decide to start thinking from the initial point. As they know that, Bruce rejects to become an heir, but due to this Gotham is left alone. Talia also told them that Race was behaving erratically when he died. However, at this point, a thing strikes Batgirl's mind. She said it all started way earlier than they thought. According to her, when Batman died, he was investigating the Court of Owls. As Rage finds out about this, they came after him. As they want to extract from the pits to create talents. This escalate a fight between him and Bruce which ultimately leads to Bruce's death. All this will make Gotham City the ground zero for the war and there is no Batman to save it. Now at least knights know what to do. So they decided to send Robin to the dinner that is arranged in honor of Bruce in which he finds out that Jacob is behind all this. He is behind the killing of his nephew. So, knights fight well against all odds and destroy all the enemies of Gotham. As they are fighting with Clayface to save the city. They get a signal which shows the diversion of power to a particular place. They thought that Talia is linked to it. Red Hood chases her, and after fighting all hurdles he reaches her. Talia tells him that Lazarus Pit can be used more than just to save people from the brink of the dead. It can make people control others' minds. At this point, she shows that she resurrected Batman by using the power of Lazarus Pit and she also frees his mind from the oath of saving Gotham. This time she created him more powerful than her father. But as Batman starts fights with Red Hood, he recognizes him. The Court of Owls also reaches there, and Talia with all court members are buried underground as Batman strikes his jet to them. This will save the city for a while, but the Knights of Gotham must remain ready for any danger that is coming. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more great videos. We will see you in the next one.